Welcome back. Coney is here. Tonight I'm flying from Omaha, Nebraska to central Nebraska. I'm flying a King Air 350i from Beechcraft. I'll set a flight level of 5,000 feet inside the cabin. And let's go ahead and get started. So let's set that flight level of 5,000. Alright, take off the parking brake. And let's get moving. some lightning this evening, it seems like. Alright, I think we can lift off now. I'm trying to do a better job of staying over the runway when I do this, although it's a little hard. Bring the flaps up halfway. Let's see if we can get some speed going. Omaha Tower KH451 continue for west departure. Okay, I've cleared the runway. I'm going to turn into our heading. Lightning's very exciting. United 7 Niner 4 follow the aircraft on final. Wind 137 at 8. Clear to land runway 14 right. Clear to land runway 14 right. United 7 Niner 4. Okay, I'm going to bring the flaps up the rest of the way. Pretty far, of course, so I'm going to continue turning and try to get those line segments to meet in the compass display. Some more throttle. Squawk tree two one two K. We can be going quite a bit faster. KH four five one radar contact. So working to get on proper course. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through the Charlie airspace, KH four five one. Okay, we're approaching our proper course. We'll start turning back the other direction. like seeing all the lightning. Okay, almost there. Just need to get perfectly dialed in on the heading. Okay, at this point I'm going to let autopilot take over. It's a little hard to turn the yaw damper on. There we go. I left the windshield wipers mid-screen. Let me see if I can move that out of the way. All 
Alright, well, that seemed to work. Let's go outside. Beautiful evening in Nebraska. I've never been here before. Not sure exactly what we're over right now. Obviously a pretty populated area. Wow, lightning is amazing. Okay, autopilot's making a little course fine adjustment there for us. really intrigued with the lightning for some reason. Okay, that's a cool shot. Wow. Holding this view for a minute, maybe I can get a really nice thumbnail for the video. Probably one of these shots would be good enough. So we're heading in the direction of Denver, ultimately. That's up thousands of feet, so I'm not sure what that's going to be like. I guess I'll be climbing up over the Rockies or something? I'm not sure. Uh, wow, okay, that was a nice one. So it'll be interesting to see what that's like. Um, it won't be in during this or the next flight, but perhaps after that I'll reach Denver. We can be going just a little faster. Let's throttle up a bit. And then I just want to keep an eye on these instruments. Make sure I'm not getting into the red. I feel like I'm okay up to a point. And that's full throttle and they're not exceeding. Um, but they're going to overheat, so I'm going to pull back. This might be fast enough. Alright, let's go back outside.
Alright, let's go back inside. Reset the view. Maybe look around just a little bit. There's not too much to see. Some kind of a population off in the distance, maybe. Yeah, really nothing, nothing to see. It's dark, so there's just not going to be not going to be a lot to see without the lightning helping. Some kind of lights down there. Reset. Alright, back outside, let's reset this view, and then I would like to go play with the drone. We'll stay connected to the plane. So, let's see if we can see anything interesting down here. Probably not. Just seems to be a big open area with not much going on. Just some street intersection lights. Wow. That looked really cool. So lightning must just be a continuous problem in this area. It makes sense. You'd think it would be like that in Nebraska. At least I would think so. There are clouds that you only see when the lightning hits. Let's check on the plane. Heading is good. Airspeed's good. Altitude is good. Everything looks okay. Check inside for the engine. And that all that stuff all looks good. Must have hit something here. Stava or Stava? That's a little piece of dirt over here to land on, looks like. If you can see it. There we go. KH451, you are leaving my airspace radar service terminated. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved, KH451. Approach KH-451 is Type Beechcraft King Air 4 miles east of 78 November Echo 5000 feet. Request flight following. KH-451 approach. Squawk 0005. Squawk 0005 KH-451. As I get the drone up higher into the clouds, the weather sounds more intense. It's too bad they don't really tell you how high up the drone is. It must be Roger KH four five one fourteen thousand feet by now or something. Sort of at the same level as the lightning at this point. I do see some stars. Maybe we can get above. I wonder if I can get above the clouds. I hear some thunder now, that's nice. Okay, we're kind of over the clouds now. Interesting. How high up can I go in this thing? Um, airport down there. Obviously that's the west. Wow, this is really interesting to be up here out in space, basically. I mean, we're not, but above the clouds. See the Milky Way galaxy off there in the distance. Okay, well, anyway, enough of this silliness. Let's go back and reset this to the plane. Switch back to the external view. Look around a little bit while we're here.
really not much to see at night, except when we get those nice light lightning flashes. Well, that was kind of fun. Not much to do. Now would be a good time to eat a snack or use the pilot urinal or I don't know if these things actually have a bathroom. Maybe they have a bathroom in the back. Can I turn on the lights in the back? That's an interesting question. I wonder if I can do this without causing the flight to crash. Is it really 73 out? Huh? Wow. Um, so I'm looking for cabin lights. Passengers, right here. Inoperable, okay. Yeah, because it would be nice to be able to turn the lights on back there. Anyway. A view you don't often see. If we get the lightning, we c maybe we can see something. A little bit. I have to remember to hit B more often, so our altitude was off by quite a bit. Seeing new information up here I hadn't seen before. Maybe I switched that on myself, I'm not sure. But that's nice. I think that's actually a new feature of the game.
busy slowing down the plane, dropping some altitude. We're getting very close to landing. Lightning hasn't let up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps down part way. Heard a thunderclap there. All right, let's reset the view, and I'm going to take over from autopilot. Co-pilot will contact the tower shortly. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of altitude. I'm going to drop it down a bit. Landing entry will be somewhere around 2,800 feet. So I don't want to get too much higher than that. It feels like we've lost enough speed for now. When I get a little closer, I will put the flaps down the rest of the way, throttle up, and put the landing gear down soon after. We're not perfectly on course, so maybe I can fine-tune this a little bit. Okay, going a little high. Go ahead and drop it back down. We'll get some airspeed back. Okay, there's the landing pattern entrance. Set the view to the center. Okay, so we need to drop some altitude. We need to get back some airspeed. Not used to doing this from the outside. It 
actually easier from the cabin. Okay, that's engines. Let's pull back on those. Make my apologies to them later. Okay, so we're cleared to cleared land. To land runway 17KH451. We need to turn into the landing pattern quickly. Or I should say shortly. Just had a Harley flyby. I feel like my airspeed's a little lower than it should be. I'm gonna try to throttle up a bit more. I'd like to get a little bit of airspeed back. A little hard to tell where the pattern is. I see the marker a little bit. Let me go ahead and make a sharp turn. I think that'll get us right into it. markers and everything. A lot of stuttering going on, so my GPU is having a little bit of trouble keeping up. Okay, just trying to complete this turn and head to the outside of the next turn. I'd like to be going a bit faster. I feel like we're going a little slow, a little slower than I'm used to at this point. Having trouble getting it going much faster without the engines complaining, just like that. Might be due to all the wind activity. Okay, let's make this kind of sharp turn here. Too slow, really. Oh yeah, it does look like it's too slow. Alright, well now we're getting some speed, now we're going too fast, let's pull back on the throttle. Maybe it's settling as we get closer to the ground. Yeah, we're going too fast, so we need to drop some speed. I'm going to bring the throttle down to 25%. Bring it down even further. Okay, I'm going to drop it a lot because we're very close to the runway. And so, can't afford to be going too fast, too late. Okay, I'm gonna give it some more throttle. I feel like we're dropping a little too fast. All in all, I think we're okay. need to get visually centered on that runway. I'm going to drop the throttle all the way down, see where that gets us. I'll give it a little bit of thrust. See if that gets us over the threshold. All 
Alright, and then we want to hover over the surface as much as possible. Get those ooh, hard hard down on the rear wheels. Front wheel down, brakes on. And get ready to turn here. Okay, I should have slowed down a bit much. Okay, well anyway, we're off the runway, so that part's good. I don't want to crash into that building or these cars. Let's put on the parking brake. Contact ground. Taxi to parking. Ground KH451, request taxi to parking. KH451, taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Bravo Alpha. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Bravo Alpha KH451. Bravo Alpha. Okay, so we need to back up. There is a way to do that. I can put the engine into reverse thrust. And then what I'll do is I'll go outside and briefly take the parking brake off. Okay, I think I hit the throttle and it took out the reverse thrust, so let's try this again. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, parking brake back on. Give it some throttle to put it into forward thrust. Go back inside, reset the view. I'm supposed to have some lights on, taxi lights and things. I was supposed to put landing lights on, but I didn't do that. Although I might have lights set to automatic, so I don't know if it matters if I'm changing those controls or not. Um, so now I need to make a sharp turn. Let's see, it was... what was it? I uh, seem to go make a U-turn. Um, not sure if I can do that. Let's try. Just try a hard left U-turn using the left brake. Okay, that seemed to work just fine. I assume the reverse thrust could be used mid-flight to slow yourself down. Maybe I should try that sometime. I should probably maybe read the manual and find out what it's really supposed to be used for. And I should have put the flaps up. That's a big no-no. Leave the flaps down and the plane's likely to take off while taxiing if there's a wind gust. That's, that's happened to me. I like the purple marker lights versus the usual blue ones. That's nice. Okay, trying to stop. I have to remember the braking is very weak. Okay, let's do this from inside. Oop, okay, I'm definitely going too fast. Need to slow this down. Oh, I had the throttle way up, that's the problem. Okay. It's a little hard to see. I'm going to back the view up.
Alright, I guess I'm supposed to make another U-turn here. Oops. Oh, maybe I was supposed to enter right there. Okay, well, anyway. This will work. Um, the guys, they don't know how to get out of the way, but they won't be harmed. Even that chopped his head off. Alright, parking brake on. Shut the engines off. Curious what the outdoor temperature is here. 78, wow, okay. I could silence that. Oral warning, okay. Alright, turn off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.